Hey, welcome back here with Rancher Mafia. As you guys can see today, we have a scanner. We got the Kimballin S600, which basically has, you know, we're able to read codes, uh, break services. There's so many more into this. So as we take apart and take a look at it, we'll get into detail. But of course, my vehicle has a check engine light. Also a flashing TPMS, but that's something we'll worry about later. So we're going to open it up and see what's, what's this all about. So as we connect the, the scanner to the vehicle, of course, we do have our check engine light. And of course, we got to be in position two in order for us to read some codes. Uh, part of the system that this car could check, it's ABS, SRS, ECM, and TCM. Basically, your brake system, your SRS, which is your, your safety restraining system, your engine control module, and your transmission control module. And of course, there's, four, uh, there's eight resets, your oil, you know, for your maintenance light, your brakes, your steering angle sensor, your electronic throttle body service. Uh, if you were to do a throttle body on a vehicle cleaning, sometimes you got to go back there and basically calibrate in a uh, battery. That's to reset the batteries when you replace them. Some newer computers require you to reset the system in order for it to function properly. The uh, DPF filter, TPMS, and also to bleed the brakes. So as we hit OK, we have all the functions here. We got OBD2, diagnostics, your maintenance. Uh, and of course your updates you do get lifetime updates with these oh that's one pretty cool thing about this and as you can see right here uh, of course this is plugged in but it does charge uh, and of course it also reads the battery voltage at this time which is kind of neat and of course the time and everything so we're going to go to diagnostics and then from there i'm going to do a quick oh uh, let's go back uh yes yeah, so we want to exit i clicked the wrong one so uh, basically what i want to do is auto search so i'm gonna do an auto search and as it's scanning the vin we'll go from there next so once the health report gets basically checked out where you want to go is health report and it's basically going to process everything now that it read the vehicle and then of course it's going to check all the modules and it's basically doing a basically breakdown and seeing what systems have fault codes and of course the one we want to chase specifically is going to be the ecm and of course if you're chasing like climate control infotainment driver's information module, uh, SRS, you're basically able to go in there and take a look at those systems, that, which is pretty neat. So as we check here, we have all our system checks, which pretty much does a whole breakdown of the vehicle. Sometimes you do get some ghost codes, but for the most part, uh, some minor codes in each part of the system, depending on what faults you're chasing. Uh, for us, we are going to go with the ECM, so we're going to go enter. And of course, we want to press OK. And then, of course, it's going to give us the fault codes. So uh, let's going to read read the fault codes. Communicating with the vehicle. Of course, we got a we got a fuel pressure sensor signal too high uh, slash too low or long term fuel trim lower limit upper limit. So what what this is telling me, of course, that's something for the diagnostics we got to do is uh, we do have fuel pressure code. Uh, sensor that's probably going faulty which is probably creating those fuel trim codes so of course i'll probably chase that one i'll hook up my fuel gauge and see the readings from the fuel gauge and of course from the the scanner are matching and then that's where i'll go from there so now what i want to do i just probably want to uh go back and then what i want to do now of course read data stream which is pretty neat and now what i want to do which we do have a fuel code and fuel trim codes what i want to do is I want to go short term fuel trim. Uh, let's see, we got to get long term fuel trim as well, which should be right here. And then, of course, our fuel pressure uh, should be, of course, fuel pressure right here. And of course, our duty cycle as well. Engine temperature, we really don't care so much about it. We press OK. And now, what I'm going to do is start the vehicle. Oh, long crank. So what does that tell me? That there's something going on with the fuel pressure. So uh, I already know right off the bat, the duty cycle on the fuel pump should be around 50%. Um, so I know I'm up 16%, long-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trim. So uh, there's something kind of going iffy with the fuel pressure sensor there. So one thing I want to do is basically hook up a fuel gauge and basically verify that what the gauge is reading and what the sensor they're matching. And then, of course, the duty cycle, of course, the pump's working a little bit extra due to the fact that the it's depending on the fuel pressure sensor that's requesting it 
So I could also graph it and I could be streaming it, which is pretty neat. I like that. Uh, this is a five inch screen. So of course, like I said, my next step will be to do that. But at this time, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, that'll be for a, probably a future video. Uh, but like I said, it's pretty neat. You kind of give it some gas and see the fill trims change at different idle speeds. Like I said, I'll be linking this down in the description uh, for the next couple of days. This will be going for $148. Uh, that's what the link, if you buy through there, normally they are $250. Uh, this video was very helpful. I will be making more videos regarding the scanner, so stay tuned. I want to say thank you for watching. And of course, we'll be fixing that Christmas tree uh, on the instrument cluster. As you guys can see, we got, of course, TPMS light, which I will be able to read with this as well. But once again, I want to say thank you for watching the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I highly recommend the scanner. Uh, if you want, of course, you do a lot of do it yourself or you want to have something at home. I want to say thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.